Where's our pictures, please? Newborn portraits, precious moments with families side by side, moments of love frozen in time. There's a lot of memories right there that were just taken within the last 30 days, I would say. All of it now trapped behind this locked door. We're frustrated, you know, it's not the money, it's the fact that no one reached out and, uh, and I see my pictures in a stack right there. Paul Stone says coming to Portrait Innovations is a family tradition. Came here at the end of December, like we do every single Christmas, Easter, got our family pictures done. But when he came to pick them up a few days ago, he noticed something was wrong. Furniture and equipment nowhere to be seen, but a massive stack of photos remained. The abrupt closing without a candid warning. They've closed down on us without any, not even trying to, not even reaching out to us. Uh, come pick up your photos, the doors are closing, I apologize, nothing. But Stone isn't alone. Across the country, the company appearing to shut its doors. Its social media pages and websites also vanishing. Records show the North Carolina-based company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy back in 2017. And now the Better Business Bureau confirms Portrait Innovations has officially called it quits. But while the company isn't in their golden hour, Stone is asking for one simple request. Stone is in there somewhere, it has to be. His family photos back in his arms. Come open this door, just give me my pictures, you know. Well, we actually have some good news for Paul and other customers right here. We spoke to the leasing agent and she tells us that she really wants to make sure that these photos inside get into the hands of the customers. So she will be working with the landlord starting tomorrow to ensure that that happens. We have more information. If you're one of these customers who wants these memories, we have that information for you on our website. That's news3lv.com. Reporting live here in Las Vegas, Lauren Clark, the CW Las Vegas. Hopefully at the very least, there will be some reimbursement. Lauren, thank you so much.